What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Dr. Hammerstang and today we got two very powerful phones over here. In the first corner over here, we have the iPhone 13 Pro and this one does come with the A15 Bionic chip and inside here does come with 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. In the other corner over here, we have the Xiaomi 11T Pro and inside here does come with the Snapdragon 888, 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. So the first thing that we like to do is to check out the temperatures over here. The room at about 26.9 in terms of the phone temperatures over here, 34.1, over here 33.5. So what we like to do always at the start is to boot up these two phones and see which one would come out on top. And in terms of the Android phone over here, Xiaomi has a very, very fast boot up over here. Let's see if with the iPhone 13 Pro, if it can beat the i if you can beat the Xiaomi Mi 11T. Oh, both of these two phones have been charged up to 100% for this test. And as we can see here, the iPhone 13 Pro is right into it over here with the 11T right kind of uh, right behind it over here. In terms of calendar, this is ready to go. Here, it does take some time to set up. Let's give it some time. And like I mentioned, both of these two phones have been charged up to 100% over here. And in terms of the brightness over here, both of them are maxed out in terms of the brightness and in terms of refresh rate, both of them are running in at 120 hertz. Also, both of these two phones are connected to the same Wi-Fi network as well. And also location is on. Every other form of connection is disabled on both of these two phones. And also before we start this test, I'm going to show you that all apps have been closed on both of these two phones as we can see over here. So these are the apps that we are going to test out. Let me just bring the camera app over here. All right, so let's run this speed test over here. And before we do that, let's check out the temperatures. 34.4 and over here, 35.2. So a little bit hotter here on the iPhone 13 Pro. So one, two, three, let's go. Okay, faster here with the iPhone 13 Pro, with the 11C right behind it. Quite some distance actually. Let's go to another one here, Pokemon Go. Again, the 13 Pro wins this round as well. Let's go on to another one here, YouTube. Faster here, no more excuses. Let's go to Instagram. About the same, I think the 13 Pro was just slightly behind it. Another huge level here, PUBG Mobile. Okay, so the 11T Pro does win this round. Okay, not too far behind to be honest with the 13 Pro. Okay, let me just clear up all this. And then... Okay, then let's go on to another app over here, Chrome. Let's go to another app over here, Chrome. I think the 11T Pro in terms of temperature, 36.4, 35.6. So heating up over here. Let's go to Facebook. Okay, slightly faster on the 13 Pro, Shopee. Okay, I think the 11T. Let's go to YouTube Music. Okay, I think it was over here. And then let's go to the settings. About the same. Go to Manchester United. Okay, I think about the same on both phones. Let's go to Premier League. Over here, clear winner. Let's go to Netflix over here. Okay, this one here, the animation longer here. Let's go on to the camera app. All right, let's see. I think the 11T Pro does kind of a switch faster. Let's go to TikTok. Ladies, I know what you want. All right, all right. Let's go to Twitter. I think the 11T Pro as well. Let's go on to the stores over here. 
Okay, faster on the 11C Pro. So in terms of temperatures over here, let's check out 11C Pro 36.1. Let's check out with the iPhone 30 Pro 36.2. So about the same, I would say, and in terms of RAM management, let's check out over here. Both of them doing all right. Let's go to Pokemon Go. Again, both of them doing okay. Let's go to PUBG Mobile. Okay, all of them are really, really good. Let's go to Facebook. Okay, this one not too bad. And let's go on to Twitter. Again, really, really good in terms of RAM management over here on both of these two phones, right? And also, let's check out the temperatures over here with that RAM management, 36.5. 36.1 so pretty much the same over here and let's move on to the next test right so now we're going to do a gpu test on both of these two phones so over here i'm using adobe rush and both of them are going to export this at 4k at 30 fps and let's see which one would come out on top in this test over here seems like the iphone 13 pro is having a lead over here and we are almost done and yes the 13 pro does finish with the 11c just right behind it over here all right so now i'm going to go on to another test over here with geekbench in terms of temperature before we start 36.1 and over here 36.2 so very very similar indeed in terms of temperature and of course let's open our geekbench here in terms of the layout we're going to see that it is a little bit different over here. So one, two, three, and in terms of the temperature, 100%, both of them still at 100%, which is also quite impressive. One, two, three, let's go. Now see you guys when we do get the results. <laughs> Okay, so we are done here and of course the iPhone 13 Pro amazing amazing lead over the 11C Pro over here in terms of the scores 1733 this is the first time i've seen a score so high like this over here on this channel multi -core score as well 4007 which is just absolutely insane let's just give a little bit time over here for the 11C Pro in terms of temperature it does feel very hot over here 37.1 let's give some time to this one to finish this up normally i would get about 900 to about 1000 in terms of the score let's see over here if we can actually reach some four digits over here at least make it a little bit closer to the iphone 13 pro here as well in terms of the scores very very impressive from the iphone 13 pro and again let's just give it another few more seconds over here there's a model ID. I'm not sure why they put this as iPhone 14. Wow, I got a future phone over here. All right, all right, let's see, let's see. And let's see the scores. And 806, very, very bad over here. But of course, we have known about Xiaomi. They're trying to lower down the performance to keep the uh, temperature and all this other stuff. Of course, in terms of temperature, 36.3, much more manageable compared to the iPhone 13 Pro over here. And if you go on to some uh, history over here, we can see the scores are pretty similar, I would say. Yes, not to say very high compared to the other phones. So, all right, so let's move on to the next test. All right, so now we're going to go on to the next test over here, which is the 3D Mark. So, one, two, three, let's go. In terms of the temperature, both of them are still in at 100%, which is just impressive. So, I'll see you guys at the end when we do get the results. Okay, so we are done here. The 11T Pro does give me a nice score here, 5,744. Over here, 9,600, which is just absolutely insane. Almost double the score over here in terms of the FPS. Only at about 34 over here, whereas over here, 57.6. Almost double the score over here. And in terms of temperature, very, very hot, 38.8. As you would expect over here, 36.8. Alright, so I'm not able to run the slingshot test over here with the iPhone 13 Pro, but as we can see in terms of just performance, in terms of numbers, the iPhone 13 Pro with the A15 definitely does outperform the 11C Pro over here. And of course, some people might argue that this one over here has been toned down by Xiaomi, but in general, their performance are about the same. Of course, do let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want to see another comparison with another phone, do let me know fast. And also, uh, that's it, what you're going to get over here. So if you guys did enjoy this video and also want to see more of 
of these type of videos, do click the like and smash the subscribe button down below for more videos like this in the future. Do also follow me on my social as well on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook,